In the shadow of the rock, every day, thousands cross the boundary between Spain and Gibraltar, including some of the 437 British military personnel who work here. It shouldn't affect personnel. We're told that Gibraltar's preparations are done, the transitionary period very little, if anything, changes on the day-to-day -day business as our future relationship with the European Union is worked out. And I have some people that go to Spain a lot. I have some people that, that live in Spain. That's exactly, that's the nature of Gibraltar and its relationship with the region across the frontier. So it shouldn't affect us. And everyone tells me that we're set. Commodore Henry told us there are contingencies in place if difficulties do arise at the border. So we've done a lot of work uh, in preparation for Brexit in the reasonably worst case space. A lot of thinking and yes, and some physical checks, you know, clearly you'd expect me to say I've probably got a little bit more food in for the dogs than we'd originally planned and some extra chill cons worth of stuff. But fundamentally, I rely on Gibraltar. Gibraltar says it's ready and therefore I'm ready. Gibraltar has been under British rule since 1713 but Spain insists it has a claim for sovereignty. As Gibraltar exits the block along with Britain today, it's expected there won't be many changes during the transition period, which ends in December. Gibraltar and Spain share a border that is just over one mile long, and every day, more than 15,000 people cross from Spain into Gibraltar for work. But those we spoke to at the frontier didn't seem too concerned about what might immediately happen. I'm not worried, no. Um... I don't really know what to say. I mean, it's happening, it's been done. The country decided there's not much else I can do. So just go with it. What do you think is going to happen on the 31st? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I think it's the end of the year where everything will kick in. So we're not worrying at all about the end of the month, not at all. What do you think is going to happen at the border here after January 31st? Nothing, nothing, nothing's going to be the thing. Are you worried about what's going to happen after January 31st? Not really, I hope not anyway, but I think a lot of businesses are working at home just for the first week or so, just to see how it is, and then after it should be all right. OK. As the sun sets on Britain's membership in the EU, what it will eventually mean for cross-border workers and the wider Gibraltar community will no doubt become clearer in the coming months. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.